uh, back again for part two of the bisection method. After you've done this, uh, I'll just move this little chart out of the way so I've got a bit more room to play with. It's interesting sometimes to plot the number of iterations versus your estimate for the root of the equation. I'm using the midpoint. So I'll make a scatter chart here. And as you can see, the original estimate was 0.5. It bounced up to 0.75, but then it got progressively closer and closer to the uh, root of the equation that we were after here. It's a measure, I suppose, of how quickly this thing converges. Now, uh, solutions will, for this method will converge as long as, as I said, the first two guesses had opposite signs. Uh, remembering, if you didn't watch my previous video, the negative values of the function were highlighted in orange here. If I did accidentally start with something that was like this, where the first two guesses that I had were both the same sign, both negative, see how it hasn't worked? It's just converged immediately to the midpoint 0.9 and it hasn't moved away from it. So the iteration, uh, the bisection method does not work if we've got uh, the same sign for the function on our initial two guesses. Now, what if, uh, what if I was a bit crazy and put one here and put zero here? So uh, I've sort of got the lower value higher and the upper value lower. It doesn't really bother the algorithm. The algorithm still manages to converge on the correct solution, although it is a little bit odd to call one a lower value and zero an upper value, so I'd avoid doing that. Not that the particular algorithm cares, but a person reading what you've done might be very confused by that. So sometimes, uh, often in these numerical processes, we'll plot the value of the uh, solution that we're after versus the number of iterations, just to judge how quickly the process converges onto the solution. And in this case, it's happened fairly quickly indeed. And we're very happy with the result. Uh, after about a dozen or so iterations, we have a result here that is consistent to four decimal places.